Hello, you're with Kathy, the RT Mummy, and we are up to day 21 of our 365 day challenge. And we are going to paint your favourite kind of food, simple food to eat. So I've chosen a plate of nachos because that's a simple food that I really, really enjoy. And so does the rest of my family, so it makes it nice and easy. I only have to cook one meal because I have some really, really fussy eaters in my house. But everybody loves nachos. So this has a few things going on. It's a fairly complicated um, image to start with, so you might have a bit of trouble dissecting it down to where do I start if you're brand new to watercolour painting. So what I did was I placed the parts of the plate that I could see directly that weren't interrupted by food and then started by painting the corn chips in beginning with a a yellow and um, probably a bright yellow or, or light lemon yellow and then adding some orange and yellow ochre to that as well as um, just mixing a little bit of reds into it just to get the different variations of tone in the corn chips and then I mixed up some sort of brownish red for the the actual nacho mints and then you've got the green and red bits for the capsicum and chives so I just pretty much placed little dots of color of different shades of red and green into the center of the chips and let those just sort of build in layers and in dots sort of next to each other to create that center part. So the chips were kind of the most challenging part to get them to curl and turn and, and look dimensional on the plate. But that's just a case of looking at your shapes and looking at where the shadows are and where the changes in color are and edges and just building on your layers of color as you go. So that was really fun to do and um, nice little bit of practice for getting dimension in your painting and depth. And the next thing I did was to pop a little napkin next to the plate just for some interest and decided to do that as a red stripy napkin. And then the plate, which is a, a plate that curves like a, a very flat bowl almost. So adding some layers of blue over that bowl lets you create the dimension of that as well. And adding a little shadow under the edge of it helps to give that illusion of it sitting on the table. So being careful not to muddy your food with the, with the blue build the layers of, of blue around the edge of the plate so that it goes in different tones to again create that illusion of depth. And to finish it all off I've just put a little fork off next to the other side because you kind of need a fork to eat nachos. You can pick up some of it with the chips but eventually you're going to need a fork. <laughs> so I popped a little fork on there too. So if you enjoyed this tutorial or this little exercise, please let me know what you thought. Like and subscribe and I will see you tomorrow. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. See you next time. Bye-bye.